That's a good catch. Oh, James Anderson has won a battle there. He worked his man over. Ricky Pet Hanscom's had a tough time in this test match. What have you made of his technique? I'm not sure which technique you're talking about. He's, he's sort of um, switched back and forth between three or four different methods of, of footwork, really. So, I mean, that to me says he's just really fighting himself. He's trying to find something that's going to, going to work for him in the middle. And, you know, when he came out to bat last night, it's obviously a difficult time to bat. And it wasn't easy for him again this morning with the ball seeming around. But, you know, I think when you're moving around the crease that much and seemingly having so many things down on your head, it's really hard to, to focus on just watching the ball and keeping things simple. So, um, yeah, that's the one thing I would say. It just, it just looks like to me like he's fighting everything that he's doing. He's, he's not he's not free in the mind. And when you're not free in the mind, it's really hard to make your body move where you want it to move. You call this going across the crease. I think there's there's going to be a few things there that need to be changed as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I, if, he just, if he keeps moving around like he does and, and playing back in front of his stumps like he does, it, it just looks like he's making batting more difficult for himself. Uh, even the fact that he's not being able to score off the front foot. I mean, one thing you have to be able to do in test cricket is score off the front foot because especially in conditions where the ball's moving, the majority of the balls are going to be you know, front foot deliveries. Do you think England would like to see him out there for the rest of the series? Oh, look, I think he's been the easiest of our batters to bowl to so far. So if you look at it that way, then they, they probably would, yeah. Um, especially if there's some sort of movement. If there's any sort of movement in the air off the seam, then I'm sure not just the England bowlers, but any bowler would back the chances of getting um, getting Hanscom out the way he's playing at the moment. But look, he's got a good record in first class cricket. He's got a good record early in his test career. So let's hope that he can address it quickly and he can get back into some sort of touch before the next test.